Hey, are you a newly minted general? Are you trying to use HF and make contacts and all you hear is your signal's weak, your voice is low, again, again. Or, even worse, they can hear you, but they're going, you're terribly distorted, cannot read you, cannot read you. Now, what's the problem? Well, it's your mic gain. And as a newly minted general, you may not know how to fix that. So if that's the case, this video is for you. Everybody, Stu AG six AG. You know, one of the most common questions I get from newly minted general class operators is, "Hey, when I'm running sideband, everybody complains that I don't sound right and I'm garbled. It's a brand new radio. I don't know why. Can you help me?" And the truth is, of course, this is nothing more than a mic gain issue and possibly a processor issue turned on, okay? So, look, where do you start with that? Well, that's what we're gonna take a look at right now, all right? Now, uh, what I have here in the middle of my screen is my ACL meter that displays on my software to run my rig, okay? The green area here is the good area. When you get into red, it gets bad. Now, where is your ALC meter? Well, you know what? You can probably select it very easily, right, um, directly from your radio. It will tell you, um, you know, what you're going to have displayed when you're transmitting, okay? So all you need to do is change it to where your meter is going to display your ALC or your auto level control. Now, the first thing we need to do though is get a baseline and see where we're at and see what we need to adjust. And that means that we set it on ALC for our meter. We turn off our, um, oh, uh, equalizer if we have it on. We turn off our uh, processor, our voice processor, if we have it on. Okay? Turn those things off. Anything that's going to affect your transmitted voice, you want to make sure that's off. Okay? Once we have that off, we want to stick our radio on a dummy load. Okay? And make sure we're down at low enough power that we're not going to cook the dummy load or, or ruin it because we're transmitting too long. We're going to take our microphone and we're going to speak into it normally. This is AG6A. Wow. All right. You notice how I'm popping way into the red. That's bad. That's really bad. So I'm gonna reach over here while I'm talking and just keep talking to you. I'm gonna keep talking. All right, so I'm pretty much down pretty low now. I'm not really running into that at all. I wanna come up and uh, that probably, yeah, that's probably right about where I wanna be. Maybe a little higher. Um, Oh, let's try it there. How's that? You know, I, I kind of like that. That looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm not bouncing up too high. I'm coming up to it a little bit, but I'm not driving it. If I move the mic away, I won't even drive it at all. So if I normally hold my, white, my mic at this distance, I might want to turn it up even higher. I might want to take it up to, oh, I don't know. How about about there? Like I said, you know, it's it's one of those things that you need to kind of get a feel to set. What if I hold it in my other hand? What what if, what if, what if, right? So right there, I like it, okay? Why do I like it? Well, I like it because my ALC is not getting into uh, the uh, bad area. Matter of fact, it's barely getting to half up there. That's what I want. And what was I adjusting? My mic gain. 
every once in a while I'll talk to somebody about this and I'll be talking about ALC and they'll they'll turn around and they'll go, hey, um, I couldn't find the ALS adjustment. Well, you're not adjusting the ALS. You're using the ALS meter to help you adjust your mic gain. <clears throat> now, what I want to do now is I want to show you what it really kind of looks like in the uh, uh, modulation um, package uh, when you're transmitting when it's bad. So we're going to switch to a scope view, but before we do that, I want to talk about some safety items. Whenever you're going to hook a scope up, there's a few things that you need to make sure that you do. Um, one thing is you never want to plug your transmitter uh, RF out directly into your scope because you let all the smoke out of the scope and it won't work anymore. So how do you uh, bring that power down enough? Well, uh, you build an attenuator, you buy an attenuator. Um, this is basically the attenuator that I'm using on the setup that we have here. I've got an in and out, or in and out, doesn't matter. These are straight through. And then a minus 40 dBm signal comes out here. So there's lots of math, lots of other stuff in, uh, involved in which one of these you need and how to set it up or make it. I have another video uh, that talks all about making this exact device. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, put it at the uh, end screen so you can go ahead and watch it and see how it's done. Another thing that's really important is oscilloscopes don't necessarily um, have a 50 ohm termination, okay? So if I want to know what the impedance of the scope is, okay, usually I look down at the face of the scope and it has a number. And Almost all scopes are quote-unquote high, high impedance test devices, and that uh, usually they're one million ohm impedance, okay, at the test port. Well, what does that mean? Well, because I don't have 50 ohms at the end of my cable that's coming off of this part of my attenuator, uh, I could be throwing all sorts of things out that I don't want to throw out as far as um, uh, causing high SWR or whatever to get back into the radio. Uh, I also will have lots of reading problems with my scope because the math won't work because the impedances are off, right? So you need one of these. And I'm going to try to hold it up to where you can see it. Let's see. This is, uh, you know what? I'm going to change views here. Let me let me pull up another view. There we go. How about that? You can see that a little bit better now. Uh, this is a uh, 50 ohm inline terminator, okay, or uh, you know, inline uh, impedance device. And this you just put right on the end of your cable right going into the scope and plug it into your test port and that's all there is to it all right uh let's see anything else i want to cover before we start doing a test here yeah one last thing is the settings <clears throat> your settings are going to vary your mileage is going to vary um in this particular case i had the volts set um basically just to uh pretty much fill the screen when i'm talking <clears throat> and I have my um, horizontal or my time set over here um, pretty much collapsed in uh, to where I've got a lot of samples kind of overlapping each other on the scope. Um, you know, uh, and a matter of fact, we can demonstrate that just a little bit. I'll go ahead and talk into this right now. And what I'm looking for, that actually looks like a pretty good signal. But if I spread this out too far, I don't really see anything, right? So I've got to, I've got to bring my, uh, 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 my uh, time down considerably to get what I would consider something that would be usable to look at. 
Uh, and uh, after a while, you'll, you'll be playing with this. You'll just figure out how to do it. Now, if you notice while I'm talking now, my ALC is popping up. And when it does, uh, my pattern changes just a little bit. But this actually looks really good. Uh, now, let's get something that might be a little bit easier to look at uh, to do a test here. I am going to introduce... And uh, let me just pop me in here. What the hey? I am going to introduce a uh, two-tone signal. One tone will be 700 hertz. The other tone will be 1,333 hertz. And you can use about any audible pair of audible tones that you want. You just want to make sure that you're nowhere near a harmonic, okay? Or this doesn't work right. Um, I'm currently putting out a 5 volt signal and I'm going to put the mic where it hears it. All right, and actually, I, I kind of like the way that looks. And you can see it's picking me up. Let me go ahead and I'll do a quick one shot. All right. So, and I'm going to expand this out a little bit. There we go. I like that. All right. So all I did is I moved my horizontal towards the uh, nanosecond direction instead of the second direction. Okay. So what do we see here? Well, the two tones, we've got a really, really nice rounded top here uh, on all of these. The bottom's nice, even and rounded. Really a nice looking type of signal coming in. I've got the carrier part when everything is dropping down to nothing. Uh, I've got a very, very small area of distance between that. Um, this looks ideal. So uh, for me, 5 volts with it pushed right against the microphone <clears throat> is pretty close to my own voice at the level right before ALC comes in. All right. So this is this is what I like right here. This is a really good example. Now, I'm going to crank my mic gain way up. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn the uh, uh, two tone on, and we're going to do the same experiment with the mic gain up really high. Oh man, look at that ALC, will you? Okay, we're in the red. Matter of fact, let's really go in the red. All right. All right, look at the difference. Look at the difference here of our pattern. You see how it hits, and then you can see it hitting, and it's trying to pull it down. It's trying to pull it down, but it's just, it can't get it down, right? It's fighting all the way. Uh, and look at how thick this section is where it all compresses back down. It is really overdriven. This is not clean. This is not what we want. We have something wrong here. Okay. And what's wrong? Well, all I changed was the mic gain. So let me do the same thing. And I'm going to turn the mic gain down to something reasonable. And hopefully we'll be able to watch this change. Okay. So here I go. Now we're just getting to the point. Look, it's taking care of it. And that's where I want it. All right, back to normal. All right, so now we have a direct example of what we see with a good and a bad setting. If it's too hot, it is really distorted. We can actually see it on the scope, okay? Now, if it's still distorted and your ALC is not kicking in, that's when you're probably going to want to put it on a scope and see what it actually looks like. Because there could be something wrong with your radio, and this would be the next place to look, okay? Anyway, with that, hey, I hope that helps. Uh, if uh, and, you know, um, if you want to see any more cool things working with scopes and stuff like that, hey, make the comments.
comments down below and let me know, okay? Anyway, let's run to the closing thoughts. Well, hey, I hope that helps all you folks out there that are struggling a little bit uh, and wanting to know how to really set up that mic gain to get the best out of contesting or even just regular old rag chewing. And uh, uh, we may cover some different cool ways that we can change settings uh, with our mixer and uh, as well as if, uh, bringing up that mic gain in certain circumstances to make it kind of pop through a little bit and get a little pop every once in a while to help us break through uh, some of those dog piles, right? Anyway, with that, hey, guess what? I really appreciate you watching this, and if you enjoyed it, click the like button. And hey, if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. As always, any questions or comments, make them down below in the comment section. With that, I'm Stu, AG6AG, and hope to hear you on the air.